Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to give you an update on Jamaica moving towards using nuclear power. Now, as you know, the electricity costs in Jamaica are very high. It's a serious problem, especially when it comes on to manufacturing. Why would a company come to set up a manufacturing operation in Jamaica when we have such a high which when we have high electricity costs compared to other islands in the Caribbean that have cheaper electricity costs. So the government is looking to move towards nuclear power because nuclear power in the long run would work out cheaper. So we're going to go through an article that gives more information on what the government is doing really the government signed a memorandum of understanding with Atomic Energy of Canada Limited and Canadian Nuclear Laboratories Limited for the advancement of nuclear technologies adoption in Jamaica. Addressing the signing ceremony at Jamaica House, Prime Minister Dr. the Most Honorable Andrew Holness said the partnership reflects the government's unwavering commitment to diversify the country's energy portfolio with new clean and sustainable alternatives. It marks a pivotal moment in Jamaica's energy transformation as we take a bold and forward-thinking step by signing this Memorandum of Understanding. This move is about reducing your cost of living, a major part of it being the cost of energy, he stated. Dr. Holness informed that countries such as Canada and France are using nuclear power as a potential solution to energy issues and climate change in a safe and effective manner. He pointed out that France generates approximately 68% of, of its electricity from nuclear power, adding that this source accounts for 15% of Canada's energy output. The Prime Minister added that Canada is also known for maintaining uncompromising nuclear standards. These examples show that with proper regulation of the technology and the embrace of technological advancement, nuclear can be a game changer. In fact, today's nuclear technology, especially small modular reactors, is, safe, is far safer and more adaptable than it was in the past, he indicated. Dr. Holness noted that small modular nuclear reactors offer enhanced safety features, reduced environmental impact, and a cost-effective solution for small countries like Jamaica. He stated that taking advantage of the technology, which is rapidly developing, will provide long-term benefits for Jamaica over time. Of course, there are those who are going to say, why not wait until this technology is mature? The problem is that anything that has to do with nuclear requires a long period of time, and it requires the development of local capabilities. If you, do, if you don't do it now, then not only will you have to import the capital and the actual small modular re nuclear reactor, you're going to have to import the technological skills and expertise as well, which will increase the cost of deployment. So Jamaica ha has to see what is going So Jamaica has to see what is going to come in the future, the Prime Minister said. Regarding safety, Dr. Holness pointed out that the technology has advanced over the years, noting that modern nuclear reactors are designed with fail-safe mechanisms that significantly reduce the risk of accidents. We know that safety is at the forefront of everyone's minds when it comes to nuclear energy, and rightly so. But I want to emphasize that nuclear energy today is not what it was even a decade ago. For modern nuclear reactors, particularly small modular re nuclear for modern nuclear reactors, particularly small modular nuclear, we know that some of the designs shut down automatically, he stated. Dr. Hone said that as part of the exploration work will be will be undertaken with global experts to ensure that every aspect of nuclear energy particularly waste management is handled with the highest international standards all right guys so that's the end of the update article so let us know what you think leave your comments in the section below now anything that can bring the electricity cost down in jamaica would be a good thing because Jamaica needs to be competitive with other major manufacturing countries, especially in the Caribbean. Alright guys, 
Leave your comments in the section below. Have a good day.